The suspect suggested that he had a bomb. Detective Shaw and I were scared. We asked the workers to clear out. He took another worker hostage, suggested he was ready to die, that he had made the world a better place. Thank you, Detective Riley. Detective, why were you scared? We believed the defendant had a bomb. And then you chatted with my client for quite some time, correct? Yes, we were trying to keep him talking so that he wouldn't blow the building. With what? Some empty pipes and a tool in his bag? I mean, isn't it true that you tackled and arrested my client despite the fact that he had nothing but a work tool in his possession? Objection argumentative. What's wrong? Nothing further. Detective Riley, could you clarify for the jury why you were scared during Patrick Wayne's arrest? Yes, the day before, we were called to the scene of a serious attack at Sarah Hartwood's home. And the next morning, we were called to the scene of an attempted bombing. Could you explain what happened? The bomb was in a blue gift bag and a five-year-old boy was playing with it. Objection. Uh, Your Honor, the defense opened the door by asking why Detective Riley was scared. I'll allow it. Who was the boy? The boy's name was Mikey Travers. His father is an IVF doctor like Sarah Hartwood. Objection. Sustained. Move along, Detective Riley. The bomb was covered in sharp pieces of metal that were designed to tear a human body to shreds. The boy, his nanny, and his little sister were all near the bomb. We were all terrified. It was my belief at the time that we were dealing with a serial bomber. Your Honor, people rest. <laughs> 